Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about how we can make a really quick selection. And we can use Quick Mask. So with our Quick Mask, first step is to quick take our Quick Selection and make some kind of selection. We add to our selection by holding down Shift. With Option, we take away from our selection. Now, at the bottom of our tool pan, we have Edit in Quick Mask mode. And I'm going to double click this and I'm going to make my masked areas, set them to opacity of 50% and red. Now, I can change this color red if I'd like to. For instance, I would do so if there was a red background that was competing with this. I come on in. In order to get into quick mask mode, I click this again and I have my black and white arrow. I grab my paintbrush and I set my paintbrush to the size that I'd like to work at. And when I have white up on top, I add to my selection. With black up on top, I'm painting the red and I am taking away from my selection. I can come back at any time and click the little edit in quick mask mode and I can see where my marching ants are. So as I move through, I take a look, come back in, add a little bit more and see what I have. Now, we could see working this way that we could zoom in and work super close and get a very exact selection. Okay, so what I've done in the next part of the video is I'm gonna start to just speed up this whole process as I move on through and choose what I'm taking away from the selection by painting it red and what I'm adding to the selection by taking away the red. Again, as I move through and make an exact selection, I continue to check it. So I'll keep going back to edit in quick mask mode and keep checking where are those marching ants. Again, zooming in and zooming out. By coming in close, we can really get a sense of the pixels that we want to take away. And we can also come on in and make our brush smaller. Um, and making our brush smaller again, you know, we can get a lot more of a selection and really an exact selection. Again, making the brush bigger and smaller. Now, a really great keyboard shortcut to learn is the um, using the parentheses to add the curly brackets to add and make our brush larger and smaller. If not, we need to go up to where the brush is in order to do so. So we keep moving through and getting things moving around, coming in, getting some of this details in between these little parts of this flower, which actually was a weed uh, in upstate New York. Um, so by pulling in and getting some of this detail inside of here, we'll find that it will be even more realistic as we make the selection and whatever it is that we're going to do with this. We can cut it out. Um, we can just by making a real exact selection, we can edit just that selection. Uh, so when we have an area of our document selected, again, we can apply a filter to that part, we can copy and paste it and place it into another area. So again, moving in, getting some of this information that is in between these two different areas. Another tool that I like to use a lot when making a selection is the hand. Now, the hand is great because when you select the hand, you can come on in and you can move through your document. So from one space to another, by clicking onto it, we can see where we are and move on through. Again, zooming on out, seeing what this selection looks like and coming in and adding to the selection. We can see that working on these, that it is a process and often that it takes time as we move on through and get our selection. Okay, so once we get selection to where we want it to be, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come on in and copy and paste. So I have my selection here. I'm gonna come copy and paste, turn off the bottom layer. Then I have some of this other color selected. So I'm gonna easily just select that color, do a selection, and then I'm gonna to come to select select similar and then delete. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and do my select deselect. I still have this area over in here that I want to get rid of. So one more time, I'm gonna select the color, select similar, delete. Now I have my selection. 
So we can see that Quick Mask really makes it easy to make exact selections. Thanks so much.